Hey, I am hopping on to a quick live. I am Dr. Tasha Jordan, in case you don't know who I am, and I am one of the co-founders of Dual Degree Docs, where we work to help pre-med students secure the MD. So I am just here chilling out for right now, waiting for folks to hop on. I just wanted to hop on and kind of chat with people for a little bit, um, give some encouragement. Hey, Cherish, what's up, what's up? Um, just hopping on. I wanted to just kind of chat for a hot second. Um, this is not going to be long at all. Um, hey, hey, Tyler. Uh, totally. Hey, let me know how your Sunday's going. Um, this is going to be super quick. But from one of our most recent posts, I actually just wanted to share something. Good morning. <laughs> uh, I wanted to share a story um, related to the post that we posted most recently. And the post was it's as a quote and it says never give up on a dream because of the time it will take to accomplish it the time will pass anyway and honestly that for me it seems like a lot of you guys really resonated with it we saw that like tons of people were sharing the quote um, lots of you guys like the quote and for me it literally takes me back to I guess how long ago was that now yo almost a decade ago um, I remember when I was in college I was visiting one of my uncles in the Caribbean and I was talking to him about like this idea of, you know, when you're in your early 20s, you think being 30 is like ancient. <laughs> I am approaching 30 soon and obviously I don't feel ancient, but in my early 20s, I was like, man, like I'm going to be 30 and then I'm still going to be not even having my first real job as an attending physician. So I was basically walking through my uncle this idea that... <laughs> yo it was asked um why don't you just go to nursing school yo like honestly the thing is yeah like we have to not give up because a lot of the times like our dreams will take time but this quote i love it because it's like the time is gonna pass anyway so when i talked to my uncle i was like this whole thing is gonna take so long so med school there's college obviously first off but for the most part if you're gonna go into the medical field you're gonna have to go to college regardless so there's four years of med of undergrad then there's four years of med school then at least three years of residency so i was looking at this in my 20s in undergrad like wow this is seven years at least of commitment and the most profound thing to me that my uncle said in that time really related to this quote where he said atasha you by God's grace, you're gonna turn 30 regardless. So don't look at turning 30 and the time it's gonna take to get there as something that is like to be afraid of. But he's like, by God's grace, you're gonna turn 30 regardless. And you just have to ask yourself one simple question. Do you want to be 30 and a doctor or 30 and not a doctor? And when he told me that, I felt like he was coming for my life a little bit, but it really was, it was so encouraging in that moment to be able to have my uncle remind me that, you know, the time is going to pass if we're blessed to continue to be on this earth. And if the goal you have for yourself is so strong and you are so determined to achieve that, don't let the time it takes, don't let that get in your way of continuing to go after your goal. So I wanted to just hop on and share that encouragement because regardless of, let's say you are a freshman in college and you're like in the beginning of this stage and you have basically all of the years ahead of you or you're at the point now where you're studying for the MCAT or you are studying like you're in med school and you're still thinking about how long the journey is of becoming a doctor I think now um so I am at the beginning of my second year of residency which has been such a drastic change honestly from the rest of my medical experience where people are always like you know it's gonna get better it's gonna get better and the whole time i've just been like when when is it gonna get better and i feel like i'm actually at that phase now where things are actually starting to get better and i can take a step back and say wow like all of those years of training the four years of undergrad the five years of graduate school because i did business school and med school together and now am i going to be four years of residency like i feel like it is all finally getting to a point where it's like yo i'm at that point i dreamed of and that time passed so i'm getting close to 30 when i graduate i'm going to be uh when i finish residency i'll be 31 i think um if i did the math right i think i'll be 31 when i graduate residency and you know what the thing that was most important is I did not give up. I did not allow the amount of time that has passed to be the deterrent. I let the goal be the focus. And that's what I just wanted to come in and share and encourage you guys today. Like this journey is long, but I really feel like I can say 
truly that it gets better and there's something like i pause honestly when i like say those words and those words come out of my mouth because i've heard so many people say it and for most of this journey i've been like yo it's really not getting better like being a pre-med was hard med school was hard intern year was hard but um it really is getting better and i'm prayerful that it will continue to get better so i just wanted to give you guys that encouragement um and i see that there is a question so would you advise getting a master's before the md I hear so many opinions on this, you know, so that's a really great question, Leisha. Like, it really just depends on what your goals are. If there is something that the master's program will help you to do to prepare you for for med school, I think that's one thing. If you think you need some grades that like some better grades through a master's program to help your application look better. Um, a lot of it is just really depending on the perspective. So for me, I, the example I can give is I did my MBA, my master's of business administration before going to residency, whereas a lot of doctors will sometimes do it afterward. And for me, I wanted to go into residency with a business perspective so that I could kind of evaluate the clinical experiences that I had in residency with that critical business lens. Whereas some people will do it after, do the MBA after um, residency so that they can have a clear sense of what they want to do clinically and then apply the business to it. So it really is kind of up to you of what, what the topic is that you're studying, what you would want to use it for, whether before or after getting your MD would make the most sense. Um, so I hope that is helpful to answering your question and Cherish, you're very, very much welcome. Um, as I said, this is super quick. Uh, Trish and I, we've said that we're going to just kind of hop onto the live from time to time just to check in to see how you guys are doing at whatever phase of the med school application process you are or the pre-med journey or wherever it is you are just to give you some words of encouragement answer questions and just chat and check in to see how you guys are doing so that's all i have for right now i just wanted to pop in give you some sunday encouragement i actually was just watching a sermon um, from pastor stephen furtick of elevation church i don't know if you guys know of it but those sermons like they really just put you in the mood to want to just like go do great things. Um, so whatever it is you guys are up to for today, I really hope that you have a great Sunday and have the chance to be restored and go into the week feeling whole and ready to tackle whatever it is that you guys have to do. If you have any questions at all, always our DMs are open, our email inbox is open. It's dualdegreedocs at gmail.com. Always happy to answer questions and hope you guys have a good week. Bye.